like a superiority complex is trying to cover up an inferiority complex apologizing must be hard right i don't know apologizing has just been so easy for me i get kicked in the face by the universe hello i'm just Anna, and welcome welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and we'll see where all these topics come from what not whatever so you guys know the advice i give you right like oh yeah set your boundaries don't do this don't do that like da 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 how are you saying that type of stuff see i follow most of my advice but sometimes i just don't listen to myself and then i get kicked in the face by the universe saying oh yeah this is like your last and final warning if you don't comply then i'll do it for you i don't know want the universe to do anything for me because i know that's a bad sign so i think i should really just follow my own advice keeping my distance from other people because i mean i already knew that we weren't gonna be friends till like later in life type thing because i already knew like you're not gonna keep the same friend group in high school till college from middle school to high school like i know you're not gonna keep the same friend group everybody knows that it's the whole thing about change people change or people don't change, you change, and you need to let go of people because some of those people do not change or they change for the worse. And like, this might seem ridiculous and stuff like, oh yeah, you're overreacting. You've been friends for years. Why would you do that? Why would you cut off a friend that you know for years? You guys are supposed to be best friends. You literally went over to their house multiple times. You were always talking to them. You were always communicating with them. Like you were always like going out together, having fun. Y'all were trademark best friends, and I'm just like, what lies below the surface is a lot deeper and a lot more hard on my mental state. I've been trying to have preservation, okay? Like, I've been trying to keep to myself and to always save my energy when it counts, because these past weeks, I've been very low vibrating, low energy, I always feel tired, and I know that now more than ever, I need to heal. I need to find some type of way to get out of this slump and get myself moving, to get myself working, because I literally have a break. Like, I have spring break, okay? I don't want to become the type of person that just lays around and does nothing all day, saying that they'll do stuff. I don't want to be the type of person that says they're gonna do stuff, but they never end up doing it. Like, I hate people like that, and I would literally hate myself if I became that type of person again. Something now that I always like pride myself on is the fact that I will always keep my promises. Like if I make you a promise or if I say I'm gonna do something, I am always gonna do it. Even when I say something, like if I don't promise it, there's a chance I might forget, okay? But my promises, I always remember my promises or at least I try to. And like, I really need to build preservation and I need to stop getting hurt because I thought that the little girl that used to always do stuff for other people's approval and was always a people pleaser, would always do anything to impress other people and didn't do anything just for the sake of doing it and didn't do it for herself. I thought that little girl was gone. And that little girl had a very sensitive heart that could break at like the slightest things and stuff. Like I thought I toughened up, all right? I did toughen up. It's just like, me opening my heart up, I got hurt. I got hurt pretty badly. Like, I know I have a lot of empathy and I know that I have a lot of love to give and I have a lot of emotions. Anybody that comes into my life, they deserve my love for a set amount of time. Sometimes it might be for the rest of our lives. Sometimes it might be for a year. Sometimes it might be a couple weeks. I'm very picky about who I give my love to. And sure, you might say I got trust issues. Sure, you might say that why can't you just like believe what other people say? Da 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 da. Sorry, <laughs> that's not my love language. Like words of affirmation? Sure, compliments are nice. I'm just the type of person where it's like you have to prove it to me. Like you actually have to do the thing to prove it and you have to take action towards it. That's proving it. Laying around, doing nothing, just being sad, depressed, whatever that does not solve anyone's problem especially yours okay see i could be sad and wallowing and you know like just depressed i mean that's basically what yesterday was i was just wallowing yesterday i just feel like i've given so much like i've given a lot to the people around me and i feel like i'm just not receiving that much like i give and give and give but it just seems like I'm not really getting anything back. Like what I'm getting back is negatives. 
And like, I know I've done a lot of things that were bad in the past. Maybe this is just a sign for me to like actually isolate and focus completely on myself and my family. Like, that might be what it is. Like, I need to lock in, go full work mode. I just need to ghost everybody. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't need friends. Right now, I've come to the point where I don't need friends no more. My company is enough. It really is. I've come to the point where I don't need to constantly be talking to people. I don't constantly need to call somebody, talk to them, talk about my feelings. Like, I I don't need it. Like, I don't need to constantly talk to people. I don't need to constantly reach out to people. Like, it's kind of a red flag in itself if people don't reach out to you first. Or when you get into an argument, they don't apologize first. Apologizing must be hard, right? Like... I don't know, apologizing has just been so easy for me. Like, even if I'm right and they're in the wrong, I always try to apologize and keep the peace. But this was, this was, like, the first time where it's like, I don't want to keep the peace. I deserve an apology. When I get into an argument, I usually like to sweep things under the rug. Like, try and solve the problem as fast as possible. Make sure everything's good, everything's great, and then fix it from there and the problem usually doesn't arise again but the thing is is that like when you sweep things under the rug they come back even if you fixed it fixed it you only fixed part of the problem you didn't fix the underlying problem for me it just got to the point where i knew what the problem was i i knew it i didn't do anything about it and i was letting myself get stepped all over the love of my life is myself right it should be, and it is, it really is. Like, I don't need other people trying to command me saying, oh, but you really like this guy, right? Like, you really, really loved this person so much. Like, wasn't, weren't they the love of your life? Wasn't that your first love? Like, come on, <laughs> come on. My first love is myself. People you were friends with for years changed so much and like one thing could have changed them or a lot of things could have changed them or a lot of things compounding changed them the person that you were friends with and the person that you would like lay your life down for is not there anymore they're not there anymore i guess it just took a while for me to process <laughs> losing someone you love is not a great feeling because i've been grieving okay and yes i am talking about friendships do not worry all right i can't say stuff like oh why can't i find my best friend why can't i find my exact copy my twin like why can't i find my dream boyfriend why can't i find my dream friend group there's people out there that would love to be friends with someone like you would love to be in a relationship with someone like you or is you you need time that's the one confounding variable in all of this you just need time and it just feels like my time here like where i'm living right now is starting to run out i've been really emotional this whole week has been a roller coaster like last week and the week before that and the week before that i've been stressed everything's just been going downhill like going straight down like a roller coaster that's just how my life has been feeling for the past like month i'm not gonna lie to you because i hit a really great and good point in my life and then just things started going down and now i'm not interested in talking to anybody i do not want to talk to any of my friends and i've already talked this through and i still have my emotion like do i forgive the person yes i forgive them because i loved them they were my best friend i love them so much i wish them so much happiness i could never talk about them because i mean like there's nothing to talk about <laughs> but if i get talked about by them so what that's even more reason to cut them off and no i'm not gonna have trust issues over this okay it's just like i go at the same speed other people go through so like if someone wants to go fast i'll go fast to a certain point if someone wants to go slow as a sloth i'll go slow with them all the way i'll go slow because it's better to take things slow than go through things very fast very arbitrary i will guarantee this right now happiness does not mean jack shit because happiness only lasts for a moment it lasts for a burst of time it doesn't last forever and we are ever changing but we're always growing like we're like plants we're always growing we stop growing <laughs> like physically at the age of like what exactly 
we're always growing physically. We don't stop. Eventually we wither and die or sometimes something happens and we die sooner than expected. But I kind of just think of my life like this. Like every day I wake up, it's a new day. I don't have any memories of the person I was yesterday or the day before that or the day before that. All that baggage that I had the day before, I try to let it go. But I've been reading a book all morning, all right? I've been relaxing. But go, stay, period, as I should. Because yesterday was my, how do I say this, emotional break. Yesterday I was just so exhausted. I just laid in bed tired and i was reading a book and i was just swallowing i don't want to admit it i was but hey um character growth all right and i was watching some videos about like conversationalists and how to start a conversation how to be sociable how to be able to talk about anything and everything because you know people have social anxiety people just get scared easily which <laughs> Makes sense. No worries. No one steady always wins the race. Don't get arrogant. How do y'all feel about arrogant people? Or people with like big egos, people that are overconfident. Like, do you think they're trying to overshadow all that confidence and all that radiance just because they have a tiny small ego that gets hurt by like anything? Do you think that's what it is? Because I, I think that's what it is. Like, a superiority complex is trying to cover up an inferiority complex. I've been seeing that a lot lately. <laughs> Which, it's not, I'm not saying I hate people with an inferiority complex, whatever, da 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 da. But if y'all don't know, inferiority complex is basically you think someone's better than you. Superiority complex, you think you're better than someone else. Let's get this straight though. We're all the same. We all have an equal playing field. Nobody's superior to you. Nobody is inferior to you. Okay? <laughs> like, sure, I'm, I always say respect your elders, but to be honest, I just say respect everybody. Because what's the point of disrespecting people that you haven't even met? Or you're disrespecting them just because you think you have, like, an advantage, like, money, fame, power, like, no. But I do think that realizing your skills and thinking that you're special in some type of way can be a good motivator. Hey, Cammie. Um, I don't really like that method, though, because I know a lot of, like, billionaires always think, oh, yeah, like, this was my life's purpose. I was supposed to do this for the rest of my life. I'm always doing something for this product i'm always altering it i'm always doing this i'm always doing that like this was my life's work and all that i mean were people like einstein benjamin franklin all that were they actually good people <laughs> like if you really think about it these like famous inventors I mean, we all know Edison was a terrible fucking person. He stole all the credit for the light bulb. All he did was create the lab. That's it. He took all the credit. So, that was pretty unfair, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I think I want to do liner. Because it's like, how the hell are you going to let someone else take all the credit from you when you're the one that invented it? But let's be honest here, he had... All those scientists on a payroll. So, hey, bro. I would have just took in my money and went. Because at the time. People's shit used to always get stolen. Which, when was this? When was Edison? Was it the 1900s or, like, the 1800s? Because low-key. I'm not sure. <laughs> like, I I'm actually questioning that right now. Was he, like... 19 late like early 1900s or was he late 1800s because i know he came after ben franklin and actually i don't know where edison is i i think he came before ben franklin and ben franklin was like mid to late 1800s so edison was probably like early 1900s Maybe around the time of, like, the world, oh, world war one, like, 
world wars. I mean, because, like, the world wars were in the 1900s, right? And then we had the cold arms basically threatening Russia and the Soviets that we had uh, nuclear bombs and they were threatening us with nuclear bombs. Uh. Fun times, fun times. Which is like, are they just stupid? Like, why would you try and go all out on a nuclear, on a nuclear war? Like, why would you go out of your way to try and end the fucking world? Because if we actually went down and we had World War Three with all these fucking nuclear bombs and shit, we'd all be dead. I hope people know that. <laughs> we'd all be dead. Like, no questions asked, no nothing. Like, boom, we're all dead. And maybe, like, one person, one or two people survive, and they create offspring, and then we go back to caveman ages, because, you know, we can't be, like, technologically advanced, and then our history gets wiped from the world because the nuclear bombs literally bombed everything. <laughs> Like, I don't mind selfish people. I don't mind the people that... <laughs> that just get a lot of advantages. Because if it weren't for selfish people, like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, we wouldn't have all these technological advances. Like, we wouldn't really have the internet if it weren't for Bill Gates and him creating, like, the first laptop. <laughs> we wouldn't have phones if it weren't for Steve Jobs. Then we wouldn't have MacBooks and all that. Like, we wouldn't have most of this cushy stuff if it weren't for these men. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just I just can't stay on topic for more than, like, a couple minutes. This is going to be a long-ass video, y'all. Like, have you really thought of the state of the world? Like, come on, bro. Because, like, there's so many issues out there. And, like, I don't feel like looking at them. Because th there's an actual study of people getting traumatized just from looking at the news. That's why I don't watch the news. Because I don't want to get stressed out. <laughs> and I don't want to die early just because I was looking at the news. Like, that's that sounds so ridiculous. But it's so true. Because people get stressed out from that type of, th type of thing. And I might get stressed out from that type of thing. Anybody would if they were constantly looking at the news. <sighs> I mean, I do look at, like, business and stuff. And, like, things that just, like, have, like, no effect on me. Like, if it doesn't have any effect on me, I don't care. Like, I could honestly care less since it has <laughs> nothing to do with me. Like, I feel like... Some of y'all need that mindset too. If it has nothing to do with me, then I don't give a fuck. I mean, like, obviously, when you're talking to your friend, you should obviously care. I don't know. I guess I just, like, have gotten really desensitized as of late. Which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. I just really been needing a break. <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. Everybody needs breaks. Everybody deserves breaks. You should always take breaks. You should always, always take breaks from other people. You should always take breaks from sometimes the people closest to you because they can get really annoying. And sometimes being in solitude is not that bad, even if you're an extrovert. Actually, <laughs> that might be an option for you because extroverts are having a really hard time during quarantine. And extroverts are very liked in our society because they always interact with people and people like having connection and having bonds and having people that listen to them and make them feel better about themselves, which I feel like that's just a fact. If you don't know that, then um, if you don't know that basic fact that people want you to make them feel better about themselves, even the selfless people, they want to feel like they helped you. The selfish people, they want to feel like they gained something from you. It's give or take, give or take. And you constantly have to trade, but you have to make sure that trade is fair. And for me, that trade hasn't been fair for a while, okay? And I just need to 
fix that <laughs> and you cut some people out the time you cut people out is when you guys are trading the trade isn't even and they're getting more than you and they're gaining the advantage that is when you pull back and you start using your self preservation that is the end of today's video thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe comment all that stay tuned for more bye bye